hey gang, how are you doing? It's Jonathan again for Tailhunter International, and it's time once again for the Mexican Minute La Paz Video Fishing Report, coming to you from La Paz, Baja, Mexico, and this is going to cover our fishing action for the Tailhunter Sport Fishing Fleet for this past week of the 27th of October to November 3rd, 2019. Wherever you are, hope you're doing well. Thanks for checking in, and thanks for subscribing. Okay, let's talk a little bit about fishing and underscore the word little bit. Wasn't much going on. You know, as I've said for about the last week or two, things are diminishing pretty rapidly. They're coming at us faster than we thought. The colder weather, colder water, the the wind, you know, it's blowing behind me right now. If you could see through the window and see the beach, there's waves behind me in our little calm La Paz Bay. There have been swells, there have been waves. Uh, stuff was crashing along the breakwater, actually getting the cars wet as they drove along the Malacan, their spray. This is not... Uh, what we usually have this time of year. It, usually it tapers off maybe by November we start seeing these kind of conditions but it started about two weeks ago. Waters are greener, waters are colder, the str there are stronger currents out there. We've got four to six swells outside. I mean it looks maybe calm inside the bay. You go outside and folks are getting wet, they're getting splashed around. Really difficult. Uh, everybody's keeping their smiles on their face. We appreciate everybody who's hanging in there. They're still having a good time. There's still some fish to be caught. Our captains are working extra hard to try to find fish. Trying to find bait is an issue because with waves crashing against the rocks and the, air, the shallow areas where we normally net the sardines and, and other bait fish, you know, it's kind of hard when the waves are crashing in there and either the boats can't get into the rocks or the sandy areas or simply those waves are just spreading the bait all over. So that makes it uh, doubly tough to get into the fish. So things are changing. I think we're pretty much done with our warm water fishing, but there's still some fish to be caught. It's not real comfortable out there. There's some days this week where we probably shouldn't have gone out and some days where they told us not to go out. Uh, I'm talking about the port captain and one day where we actually told everybody, listen, just stay by the pool, hang out. The sun's out. The snowbirds are here for a reason because it's 75 degrees in the daytime, 75 at night, but a little windy, a little bumpy to be out there on the water. And one day this week, it was so strong that we told everybody, you know, just take it easy, hang by the pool, go find a great lunch on the Malacan, come to the Tail Hunter restaurant and hang out and watch the world go by and have a cold beer because it was just not worth going out there. But, you know, like I said, we still had folks out. Still got some surprising fish. In fact, maybe some of the biggest Dorado of the season were caught this week, some 30, 40. Uh, we had a fish on that we estimate was 50-pound Dorado out there. And we also had a couple tuna. There were some Wahoo hookups. There's still some marlin running around. We had a striped marlin. We had blue marlin on this week. But it was hard fishing. You know, one boat catches fish, finds fish. The other three or four boats, they scratch fish. Real picky. Maybe some bonito, some skipjack, some jack crevel, some little pargo cambria. You know, they have... They have fun. They, they catch a couple of fish, but nothing to put in the ice chest. In fact, two days this week, I literally had nothing to pack. Folks ate what they caught, and the rest of the fish were what we call junk fish, not bad fish. They're just not really good eating, like the Benito and the Jack Cavell. A lot of fun. They'll bend the rods. Everybody has a great time with them, but nothing to bring home, nothing to fillet. You throw them back in the water, you go catch another one. And that was kind of it. That made up our whole week, a little pargo, some small cabrilla, some cold water fish like yellowtail, uh, amberjack, some sierra caught. These are cold water fish, which is very indicative of the fact that things are changing. Waters are getting colder, water's getting greener, there's current running around, there's big waves out there, like I keep saying. So looks like we're kind of at the end of our fresh, our, our warm water season, and it's going to get a little stronger. Looking at the forecast for this coming week, more of these strong northern winds are coming in. So, you know, like I've said before, from about the end of October to April, this is our off season, and there's a big reason. It's just not a great time to be on the water, and you just can't predict. You'll have a couple good days. You'll have one day good, three days bad, three days good, four days bad, a whole week bad, a whole week good. It's just up and down and all over the place, but that's indicative of our winter off season. So that's the way it's going to be, and I, I think we're pretty much done, and we've had a pretty good season. So anyway, a quick wrap-up, a quick Mexican minute for you, and that's going to do it. I'm Jonathan for Tailhunter Sport Fishing. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for checking checking in wherever you are. God bless. You take care of each other, and we'll be back next week. Take a look at the fishing gallery, by the way. Don't turn this off. It'll give you a better idea of what we're catching. You take care. Bye-bye.